Hello, I'm Pop here. In this problem, we have to compute uh, an area of a region. And the region is bounded by the graph of this function, cosecant of x plus 1, x-axis, and between x equals 0 and x equals 1. So if you look at the graph, you see that the function is positive, and you're finding the region below it, above x-axis, between 0 and 1. So, what is area of that region? We have to use a definite integral. So, it's integral. The bounds are, it's given to, uh, given to us in the graph from 0 to 1. So, it's between 0 and 1. And you just have to write down the function here of cosecant of x plus 1 dx. So, this is the setup to compute the area of the region. So, all we have to do is find the antiderivative of this function and then we have to plug in the limits. So, notice that this is a cosecant function. Recall that if you have integral of cosecant u du, then the antiderivative is negative natural log absolute value cosecant u plus cotangent u plus c. So, we can use that formula to evaluate this integral. All we have to do is make this function look like cosecant of u. We do not have that, we have cosecant of x plus 1. So, you can do a simple u substitution. So, let us do that. Let us substitute this expression uh, by u. So, doing u is equal to x plus 1 and therefore du is equal to just dx. Okay. So, if you do that, let us solve the integral using this u substitution right here and let us solve the indefinite integral. Okay. So, we have integral cosecant of x plus 1 dx. All right. So, I am plugging in u for x plus 1. So, it becomes cosecant of u and dx is just du. So, look, it looks just like the one right here. So, we know the answer to that. We know the antiderivative is negative natural log absolute value cosecant u plus cotangent u. And since this is indefinite, we have to write plus c. Plug in u equals x plus 1. So, the antiderivative is negative natural log cosecant of x plus 1 plus cotangent of x plus 1 plus c. All right. So, this is our antiderivative. We just have to bring it here and then plug in our limits. So, let us write it down one more time. Antiderivative is negative natural log absolute value cosecant x plus 1 plus cotangent x plus 1. And I am not going to write plus c because this is definite integral. All I have to do is plug in the limits 0 and 1. Okay. So, let us plug in 1 first. When you do that, 1 for x, you get cosecant of 2 plus cotangent of 2. Okay. Remember, this is fundamental theorem of calculus. You are plugging in 1, then minus you will plug in 0. But notice that you have a negative sign in the front. So, you will have minus of the negative, which means the second term will actually become positive. Okay. When you plug in 0, you get cosecant of 1 plus cotangent of 1. So, let us write one more step. 
have negative natural log cosecant 2 plus cotangent 2 plus natural log absolute value cosecant of 1 plus cotangent of 1. So this is the area. So we can use a graphing utility and plug this in and figure out what the area is. Okay, so let's plug in a negative natural log. Remember cosecant is 1 over sine, so you can use that, 1 over sine of 2 and cotangent is 1 over tangent, so 1 over tangent of 2 plus natural log of, same thing here, 1 over sine of 1 plus 1 over tangent of 1 and this approximately the area is 1.048. So that completes the first part of the problem. To finish the problem, we have to use a graphing utility to check our answer. So you can graph this function cosecant of x plus 1. So write down y equals 1 over sine of x plus 1. Well, you already see the graph, but you can just plug it in. And then use the integration feature under calc and write down the limits x equals 0 and x equals 1 as the upper limit and then integrate. And you see that is giving you the area of that region that's already already you know is given to you and the area is oh exactly the same it's one point approximately 1.048 so everything is correct thank you